Many times I'm asked by condominium associations and other community associations about using the AIA form documents because they're standard form agreements that are used nationally throughout the country. The AIA stands for the American Institute of Architects and it doesn't take much to understand that if the architects are publishing these documents then they couldn't be very friendly to the owner such as condominium associations in Florida. There are a lot of pitfalls associated with using these documents. One pitfall is, is that when an association receives these documents, they only really receive the first eight pages of the core document, not knowing that the document incorporates by reference 45 pages of single-spaced type documents that could impact your rights. Things like indemnification, waivers and release of lien, insurance requirements do not conform with Florida law. There are other dangerous provisions such as the mutual waiver of consequential damages. So if a contractor is painting your condominium building and water comes in and damages your furnishings, well guess what? You'll have to pay for the damages, not them because you waived all your rights. Before you sign one of these documents, make sure that you contact legal counsel and discuss the ramifications for doing so. And when they tell you that these are standard form documents, tell them that many of the provisions may not comply with Florida law and you need to protect yourself by getting the right set of documents for the right project.